We are drifting in the great ocean of space and time. In that ocean, the events that shape the future are working themselves out. Each creature and every world to the remotest star owe their existence to the great, coursing, implacable forces of nature, but also to minor happenstance. We are carried with our planet around the sun. The Earth has made more than four billion circuits of our star since its origin. The sun itself travels about the core of the Milky Way galaxy. Our galaxy is moving among the other galaxies. We have always been space travelers. These fine sand grains are all more or less uniform in size. They've been produced from bigger rocks through ages of jostling and rubbing, and abrasion and erosion, driven in part by the distant moon and sun. So the roots of the present lie buried in the past. We are also travelers in time. But trapped on Earth, we've had little to say about where we're going in time and space, or how fast. But now, we're thinking about true journeys in time and real voyages to the distant stars. A handful of sand contains about 10,000 grains, more than the total number of stars we can see with the naked eye on a clear night. But the number of stars we can see is only the tiniest fraction of the number of stars that are. What we see at night is the merest smattering of the nearest stars with a few more distant bright stars thrown in for good measure. Meanwhile, the cosmos is rich beyond measure. The total number of stars in the universe is larger than all the grains of sand on all the beaches of the planet Earth.